Okay, in this video, I am just going to go over how to use the input function in MATLAB. And uh, the way that I want to do this is first by creating a new script. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to create a very quick comment that says uh, demo of using the input uh, function. And the way that the input function works is that uh, what I need to do is assign. So if I come back to uh, my main command window and I say help uh, input, it's going to give me all sorts of information here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is assign an input from a user to a variable. So I'm going to say variable one is equal to input and then what I want to do is prompt a user for an input. So user please input something. And typically what I do is put a space. You notice that this is in single quotes here. And then I want a semicolon at the end to suppress, suppress the output. Um, and so if I would run this, uh, let's name this uh, demo1. Uh, user, please input something. Three, what you see in the command window is that it stored a three inside variable one, as you can see over on the right hand side in the workspace. Now, uh, perhaps that's not quite enough. Maybe you want to instead uh, be a little more specific. And so I'm going to use the command input. And then I'm going to say uh, input the number five. And again, I'm going to put a little space there just to keep it looking pretty. Uh, so I run it and it says, please input something. Let's say two and then input the number five. And now I've inputted the five and I can see variable one is two, variable two is five. Now, before I do anything else, I might want to show you some important commands. One is the clear command. What that will do is clear any stored variables, so this workspace will be cleared out. And then the other one is CLC, and that clears the command window. So if I now run this, what I see that is in the command window, instead of having um, all of my information there, it now goes away, so I can input anything, three, I input a number five. All right. Last little piece of information, perhaps I want to instead input a string, all right, that, in case you don't know, is letters. So I could do variable three is equal to input, input the letter Q. Why I chose Q, well, that's up to me. Um, and then I'm going to put a comma, and then I'm going to put an S. And what that S does is it tells me that this is going to be a string. And so let's go ahead and run. Uh, you'll see that here it says input something. I can put it anything. I can put anything there. Now, uh, while we're here, we'll see this didn't like me just putting an S. Uh, it says, what, what is S? I don't know what S is. So... Uh, what I can do is I can click where it says line 12 and it takes me here to line 12 and what I realize is that I've forgotten to put single quotes so I'll press run user please input something all right two let's do a five and then letter Q so I put in Q and here in my workspace what I see is that what is stored is uh, values two five and Q and that's exactly how we can do the input command